In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to design your own custom background in Google Classroom. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, education for educators. This channel is all about helping teachers like you grow in your craft. If it's your first time watching, welcome aboard. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you like what you see today. All right, let's get right to it. Today we're gonna to take a look at how you can create your own theme for your Google Classroom. We see lots of these for sale on Teachers Pay Teachers and you can see them for free on Google, but if you wanna create your own custom background, here's how you do it. The one piece of information that you need to know is that your background needs to be 1,000 pixels wide by 250 pixels tall. The two easiest ways to do this is by using Google Slides, or you can use a free online program like Canva. Personally, I prefer to use Canva because you have so many more design options. If you've never heard of Canva or you're not sure that it's what you want to use, I've got a video for you in the top right hand corner. Regardless of which method you choose, the setup is pretty much the same. For slides, you just go to File, Page Setup, and from there choose Custom, choose Pixels, and make it 1000 by 250. In Canva, you do the same thing, click Create, click Custom Dimensions, and then set it to 1000 by 250. And now for the fun part, go ahead and design your classroom theme. The next step is to download your finished picture as a PNG or JPEG. In Google Slides, it's just File, Download, PNG. And the last step is to change the actual background theme. Once you're on your Google Classroom, you simply go to the bottom right corner and click on Upload Photo. Then simply choose the file that you just downloaded. Once you choose your file, you're gonna notice that there's a crop mark ready for you to select. However, since we made it the exact size, you simply drag it to the corner and stretch it out all the way. One potential drawback of a custom background is that it will always be dimmed, as you can see in the picture. There is no way around that, and it doesn't matter what you do. For comparison's sake, the Google themes do not dim. My personal recommendation is that if you're going to choose a custom background, to use lots of bright, vivid colors and fonts that are very clear and easy to see. This process pretty much works the same way with Google Forms as well. If you want to get started with that, I got a video for you right here. I also got some really cool playlists going on right over here. In the meantime, we're all over social media at Mr. Cook's Corner. Till then, we'll see you next time. Bye.